What's up, everybody? What's up, Facebook? Show them all these credit cards. You guys are in for something you never heard of, probably. When we talk about mastering your credit. So, how many credit cards do you have right there? These are your personal. Like sixty in hand, right? Fifty in hand, right here. Fifty here. How many do you have total? Two hundred twenty credit cards. You have two hundred twenty credit cards, and how much? How much credit line do you have open? $3 million in credit line. $3 million in credit open. How many credit reward points do you have? $20 million. $20 million credit reward points. And you flew here, what, on a private jet? Flew here on a private jet. How old are you? I'm 20. 20 years old, private jet. He came here, staying at, what hotel are you staying at? What? I'm staying at Ritz-Carlton tonight. Ritz-Carlton tonight, all free. Pay attention to what we're going to share with you because we're going to be laying out how Steven basically went from zero to 20 million reward points and three million uh, credit line. So, and we're talking about how to repair your credit if that's an issue. So let's, let's jump into this. I'm going to, I want, I'm going to draw out what you're teaching right. and then you would kind of explain it by the way. Um, we're gonna put a little bit link, a link later. I've created a mastermind mentorship. If you wanna learn how to do this for yourself, you, what have you been doing the last few hours? Just recording nonstop. Recording nonstop. A year, by the way, did you start out with good credit? No, I just started. One year ago, how many credit cards did you have? Zero. What was your credit score? 600. Like. 600, and how much, did you have three million and 23 million in credit? Yeah. I mean, 23 million in rewards? 20 million rewards. Now, what did you have before, a year ago? Zero. zero. Start off with zero, nothing. So if you wanna learn how to do this, I'm opening up a private mentorship later, but I'm gonna give you guys um, a whole bunch of free education here. And then for those of you who are super, super interested in learning the full system, which we don't have time to do on a live call like this, cause we'd be here for like 10 hours basically. Uh, but I'll put a link later, it might even be in the title. Okay, so this is what you've been teaching. Here's you, here's you, imagine yourself there. And there's four pillars that you have to stand on. Okay, what's the first one? All right, you have to have good credit. So we gotta talk about your credit score. If you have issues, how to fix it. If you don't have great credit, how to, uh, you know, build credit because some of you you don't have bad credit or good credit you just have no credit and so that's what you were right yep. you, you just have no credit no nothing credit. let me have a little piece of tape to tape this this is popping out too much okay number two what's the next thing people all right we're gonna get as much credit as possible like credit max credit line so credit lines you need to open credit lines he's got three million open um you need that basically because then you can use the cards to actually fund a business or you know you can use them pay them off build points okay number three pillar is what free travel free travel that's my favorite one that's your favorite how much have you traveled in the last year i think i did the math the other day i'd like i've been on like 180 planes the next the last like staying a little eight, bit closer eight so months you know. last eight months <laughs> 180 planes. 180 planes, some of them private, some of you're flying. Do you usually go first class? Always first class. Always first class. I'll, I'll purposely not take a flight if like first class is sold out, which is a bad habit to get and in. And what hotels have you stayed at? Name some of them. Uh, Ritz Carlton, like Four Seasons, uh, like the Hyatt, like the, um, I don't even know all the names. Like there's like the Waldorf Astoria. Oh, you stayed at Waldorf Astoria? Yeah, yeah I stayed at one here in Beverly Hills. Yeah, yeah. there's a nice that, one. That is a nice one. Okay, and what's the fourth thing people are gonna learn? That we're giving you a preview of our credit mentorship mastermind. We created one that's private, but I'm giving you guys as much free info as we can do right now. What's the fourth thing? It's cash back, how to get cash back. Cash Slip. back, show them those, car those um, cash back cards. Where'd you put those? Cash back cards? Oh, or or the, uh, no, these are the these uh, are gift cards. Gift cards. How, much, how, how much is on these gift cards? 20,000 right there in your hand. 20,000 in gift cards. What are you using these for? So that's actually that's that's a secret. That's a secret. We can't we can't tell that yet. Okay, we won't tell you everything about it. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's break these down and give I want to give you guys as much info as we can. We'll be here for about 
45 minutes. I got to head to a movie. And um, let's just go as much practical stuff as we can give somebody right now on these four. Let's give one powerful tip on improving and fixing credit score. Fixing. All right, oops. There we go. Okay. Let's start with that. So you might be watching and already have credit, or you know you might be somebody that's watching here and has bad credit, or a few of you will have good credit. What's your credit at right now? I'm at 770. 770 from what? What did you start at? About 600? Six, 580 actually. 580 yeah. to 770. Okay. So let's talk about your credit score. What do people need to know? Um, so you need to have at least one credit card to even like be existent in the credit world, right? If you don't even have one credit card yet, then okay. like you're non-existent. Right? So you need to start with at least one card. Okay. What if somebody already has a card? If you already have a card, then it's establishing more relationships with more banks, right? Because there's more than just one bank. Okay. So if you only have one credit card, you obviously only have one relationship. These with are your bank. 60 cards here. Right, you got an Amex black too? Yeah, I do. Yeah, cool. He keeps the black card over here. Mm -hmm. 20 years old. What did you drop out of? You dropped out of Stanford? Dropped out of Stanford. Dropped out of Stanford, Stanford to figure out the credit game. <laughs> Man, you got a lot of cards here. And I yeah. can vouch these have his name on them. Uh, yeah, here, look at this we'll one. We'll cover up the number in case someone, that's his black card, MX Black. One year ago, he didn't have any card. Yep, this is my favorite. This, honestly, the rewards on this isn't good, it's just heavy. Make sure you talk a little bit louder. Look at this. People it's can't, I know I break. Heaviest credit card in the world. Which one's that one? Ritz Carlton. Oh, the Ritz Carlton. If you drop that, you'll hear it, like throw it across the this room. This is a like, weapon. <laughs> if you're a ninja, someone walks in, you throw this across, hits him in the throat. <laughs> and you survive the attack. Okay, so one credit, let's just go, let's talk about somebody who, who doesn't have, has some dings on their credit. What was that website you were talking about? That's uh, CFPB.gov, stands for Consumer Finance Protection Bureau. So you, you want to know about, what do people do here with this website? So when you go to that website, you can file a dispute. Um, and what happens is that they regulate like every creditor um, when you're on that site. And so basically, the high, the high level is that the, the companies have 14 days to respond to your dispute, right? If they don't respond within 14 days, they get heavily fined. Come in, he's not totally. So let me put an X down. That'll be your spot right there. Oh, right no, there? yellow. Yeah, I'm, there I'm, you I'm Ty Lopez? Yeah. You're me right now. Yeah. All right. So they file a dispute. So if you have something on your credit, what, do they, what if they, somebody, you know, just forgot to pay something? You can still file a dispute? Yeah. Yep. CFPB, okay. and usually like they're more forgiving if you only have like, if you've missed one payment, that's like nothing. Like they'll usually yeah. forgive that as a good one. So what gesture. happens when you file it here, do they um, go back to, to the credit bureaus and remove it? So they go back to the credit bureaus and they just act as like a mediator, right? They'll okay. set up the conversation. And so usually it's kind of hard to get in contact with the credit card companies. They force them to talk to you. And they don't have, like time is money. They don't have like time to like pay every lawyer and pay everybody to go talk to you. So usually, like if it's not something major, they'll just forgive it and like. No. So you've got, you've been able to help people. Yep. And in the program, you're gonna be learning how to, some real life examples. Let's, let's talk about this. So remember this website. Next thing, stay on this little mark here, so at least one. Okay, what's the best first credit card? We'll talk about for beginners and advanced. What's the best first credit card for somebody? So the best first credit card, if you're a student, I would go with the Discover It student card. Um, Discover if, It, yep. okay. Is that Visa? That's Discover. Oh, it's a Discover. It's the, yeah, yeah. I guess that makes, that's a stupid <laughs> question. Right? All right, Discover It. What if somebody already has a few credit cards? If you already have a few credit cards, so there's this thing called Chase 5 and 24. And basically, it's a rule that Chase implements that if you have applied and have gotten approved for more than five cards in the past 24 months, you won't be able to get certain Chase cards. Okay. And those certain Chase cards are high value. Like, so you want to get those first. You want to get those first because... So if you didn't know this, you're going to go out there and get the wrong cards in the wrong order. Yep. So what's, what's a card? Let's just give a... I was, so this is for a beginner. Right. Discover it. Yep. Especially a student. Yep. Okay, what if you're intermediate level? If you're, so if you're intermediate, like, I would prioritize like Chase 5 and 24, which is like, so for example, Chase Freedom. That's a 5% cash back uh, credit card that rotates every quarter depending on the categories. Chase Freedom with 5% money back. Yep. We'll call that MB. 
If somebody's advanced, what card should they get? So if you're advanced, then you're more like comfortable with you know like higher annual fees. I would go with the Chase Sapphire Reserve. That's my favorite card. So your favorite card is the Chase. How's our framing here, guys? On the all the cameras. You guys will do better closer. Let's do like a. Yeah. Chase Sapphire Reserve. Okay. So there's three cards now. What's other ways to build credit? But So you get these, how much should you pay off on your credit card? Do you need to pay off 100% of your credit card? So if you don't pay off 100% of your credit card, it's not going to hurt you as long as you're making the minimum payments, right? So okay. you have like a $38 minimum payment. I highly recommend like make this like a law in your brain. Only spend money that you have physically in your bank account, right? Okay. If you spend it, like if that's a habit and you only follow that rule, you'll never go into debt and you'll never miss a payment because if like, if you only have $40 in your bank account and you only spend $40 on your credit card, there's no way you're not gonna be able to pay off the $40, right? Yeah. Now if you're spending like, oh cool, I have a $4,000 credit line, I have like $30 in my bank account, oh, I have $4,000 to blow, then like you're screwing yourself over. Right. Because Remember, this is about the long game. If you do this wrong, you're gonna get, you know, you're gonna basically get a $4,000 credit line, you're gonna rack it up, you're not gonna be able to pay it off, and you're gonna kill your chances of ever getting 40,000. The goal is you gotta play the long game, that's what we're gonna be teaching, that's what we're teaching now. So if somebody, let's say somebody has get the thousand dollar or let's just say four thousand dollar credit line and they have the money to pay it off yep should you pay it all off down to zero yeah i would i, I would suggest it because so like what happens is at the end of your month right yep. uh, a statement comes and it gets reported to a bureau so let's say you have like i don't know you spent thirty eight hundred dollars this month yep um what you want to do is you don't want to like carry that balance because your utilization ratio is pretty like damn high like with thirty eight hundred yeah your utilization ratio should ideally be under 10%. Yeah. So like in terms of more easy numbers, if your line was 1,000 and you're spending $100 like at your statement, you're doing 10%, which is pretty yes. good. Now, if you're doing $900 out of your 1,000, you're doing 90%, that's gonna ding your credit report. That's actually gonna hurt your score. And yep. that's a high impact factor. That's, as, that's the same level as missing a payment, yeah. as using 90% of your credit. Yeah, so, so remember that, the 90% rule, even if you just pay off 10%, it's not enough and it ends up dinging your credit and you're in big trouble. So just a quick summary here. We're gonna get through as much, I gotta catch a movie. What time actually is the movie, Mo? Um, and Steven's going to record some more lessons. So for those of you coming in, we're talking about right here, how credit card wizard Steven went from zero to 20 million reward points, including three million in lines on 200 and how many cards? 220 credit cards. 220 cards. We're teaching you the four pillars here. The four pillars are your credit score, improving this continually, fixing what you messed up, not messing it up again. We're talking about credit lines. That's what's next. Free travel. He flew here on a private jet, 20 years old. Um, coming a little bit more. There we go. Okay. I want to highlight you more than me. People have already <laughs> seen me before. Uh, cash back, we're talking about. Okay. Let's move on. So oh, what, I, what you missed there, the three, first you need to make sure you have at least one credit card. Some of you already have that. We talked about some credit card. If you're a begin beginner, the Discover It card, especially if you're a student, is a great Stevens recommendation to start with. If you're intermediate, you wanna, Chase has a rule, they only give you so many cards. You gotta get the guest, best cards first or else they won't give you any more within 24 month period. You're, so the Chase Freedom with 5% money back, then, last but not least, the Chase Sapphire Reserve. The Chase Sapphire Reserve for you that are more advanced, that's your favorite card. Why is that your favorite card? You get, so it's 450 annual fee, which isn't that cool. But so it's got a big fee. 450 annual fee, yep. but you get $300 back on anything related to travel. So I go pay for a $300 hotel stay, and you get it, most of it. You get yeah. 300 back, and then on top of that, you get um, you get um, the airport lounge memberships, which cost like $500 to 1,000 depending on the lounge, and you get that inclusive part of that. Yeah. Um, you get a big sign-up bonus, which is a 50,000 mm -hmm. point sign-up bonus that's worth $500 cash right there. So I mean that just that first sign-up bonus pays for your first year, plus gives you $50 extra. Nice. Then if you have dings on your credit. We talked about this important website that you write down, cfpb.gov. You learn to file a dispute, okay? They become, that says mediator. 
And then we talked about if you don't have any major things to mediate, how do you manage your credit to keep the score high? If you got a $4,000 credit card and you spend $3,800, so you're at almost 90% utilization rate, guess what? Keeping it at 90% is a huge, it's just as bad as basically not paying it. So you wanna pay down at least 90%. So in this case, you would want your balance to be under $400. Yep. So if you kept the balance, so the whole key is playing this thing for the long game. All right, let's go to number two. So let's talk about opening up credit lines. Sure. You wanna get the maximum amount of credit lines open. Why is that important? So big credit lines gives you more power, right? Now, if you want to like do some investment with that, I mean, you have that line available. I have three You've mi- got three, is it exactly three million? It's like 3.2, 3.3. I, oh. I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't like memorize that. That's what, that's what Steven has. At age 20, starting with, you know, he's a college dropout, not bad. So. I want you to set a goal for yourself, especially those of you coming in my in the mastermind we're opening up. By the way, we're opening up for the first time today. Those of you who get in, gonna get the most attention from Steven. Steven's teaching it and a couple of my other buddies that are masters at credit card uh, and cre- you know credit scores and opening it up are gonna be doing it. Okay, for those of you who are coming in, I'm gonna set a goal. I want you to open up $10,000 in credit line over this this coming year. The next 12 months or less, that's the goal, okay? Look, is that the only place you looked? Look, look at different ones, okay. So let's set this as a goal. Let's say somebody now doesn't have much. So we wanna add 10,000 more in credit lines. What do people need to know? So it goes back to what we talked about in the initial part, which is building a relationship with a bank, right? If you never init- like build a relationship, it's just like, I don't know, like asking the bank on the first date. Like it, yeah. th- that just doesn't happen, right? right. You, need to, you need to establish something like, so okay, open a credit card. Maybe you have a $500 credit limit, maybe a $1,000 credit limit, and you pay it on time every month for six months. Mm-hmm. Then when you go back and you do something called a CLI, credit line increase. Okay, then- so you need to understand the goal is a CLI. Yeah, so you go, t- and once you have like six months uh, of relationship with them, then you go to them and say like, look, I've paid on time for six months, and you can see on my credit report, and you can show it to other banks that you've done it for six months, then asking for a credit line increase is great. And especially if you follow that 90% rule that we're talking about, if you pay it off 90% or more, just pay it off completely, then it shows that, okay, he obviously knows how to manage his credit for six months, like no, no issues at all. Have you ever seen it take less than six months? Um, I had, so my first card was 500 credit limit, and by the second month, I had, I think, like four or 5,000 credit limit. So if you do this right, and we're gonna talk about some special techniques, it doesn't have to take six months. No, it it could, took you one month or two months. Yeah. Depends. Some of you got your credit in a little more complicated situation than others. It's hard to draw absolute rules, but the point is, whether it's one month or six months, time flies. Get your bank account up, get your credit line up. It's valuable, it's powerful. Okay, so what's next? So another thing, so I actually had a few like DMs come in and like they were under 18. Like there's a lot of people asking me like, oh, I'm under 18, how do I build like credit and how do I build a relationship? So if you're trying to build a relationship and you're under 18, you can't apply legally for a credit card, you can actually get your parents You work to, on these. You can actually get your parents to add you as an authorized user. Now, like, you know, some parents are like, oh, I don't trust Joey to like handle his right. own credit card. Can you card. get like an uncle? Can you get someone yeah, else? Yeah, anybody can add you as a credit and like uh, as an authorized user. Yeah. And, but here's the thing, like here's a really good negotiation way to talk to your parents or like whoever is doing it. Add me as an authorized user, never give me the card. And in fact, if you're so scared, just as soon as you get the card with my name on it as an authorized user, just cut it in half. So right. what you're saying is you can get your parents to do it with no risk. Yeah, with no risk. Yeah. And you inherit, your, you inherit your parents' good relationship with the banks that they've already built with maybe like seven or eight years of, of history. Now it's like, okay, now you're starting ahead of the game. So the day you turn 18, my parents didn't do this for me, but I wish they did. His parents didn't do this because some people are going to be like, oh, you only got that because of your parents. Yeah, so like, I mean, my, the whole reason I'm doing this is because my dad wouldn't help me with credit, so I had to go Google it myself. Like, sorry, Dad, I mean, I didn't. That's some not. of you will be able to do this and some of you won't. Okay, so 
Let's talk a little bit more about just how to get on the phone. Okay. That's one of the things you're going to learn. We're going to give you scripts. For those of you who get in this uh, credit mentorship, this mastermind, we're going to literally give you the scripts that you use because yep. you get on the phone and you, if you know what to say, how often does it work that you can shortcut it? So when I first started, like 20%, but now I can guarantee 90% of the time I'm always getting something. I get what I want. Because you have the script now. Yeah. You know yeah. what to say. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, think of it like a sales call, right? It's kind of like that Wolf of Wall Street stuff, right? Like yeah. the, the more you do it, like the more like in that habit you get, it becomes natural. It's, it's like second nature. You call it, it's just natural. Like it's just talking to another human being if you think about it. By the way, does a wide shot look okay mm -hmm. for the replay? We're not doing a third. I'm assuming. Yeah, this is kind of your close up and this is your wide one here. But I'm saying we don't have all, any on the wings, no? No. Okay. All right. So you need the phone script. Let's yep. give, it's hard to do the whole thing, but what's a basic, let's just show people. Here's what you say. What do you say? Cool. So you, you call in, right? And usually they get these calls all day, right? Whatever like analyst, whatever underwriter, they're getting these calls all day. You want to stick out. You don't, you want to humanize yourself as much as possible. When you call them and say like, hey, the weather is getting cold. Like, hey, where are you located? Or hey, like, how's your, how's your Thanksgiving? How's your holiday weekend? Start off the like script like that because nobody asks them that. People, as soon as you call into these underwriters, it's like, hey, like, why is my credit limit so low? Or hey, why do I get ding for this? Or hey, why don't you open this for me? It's always like asking and asking and asking. So like the best way to do this is you build the relationship as soon as you enter into the phone call. You enter into the phone call and you say, hey, my name is Steven. Um, um, and like, you know, I'm, how's your day? Like, how's your Thanksgiving? Uh, you like spend some time with your family. Where are you located? I'm located in Ohio or I'm located in California. Oh, cool. Like we're like a time zone apart. Oh, have you been to Ohio? Spend like a one to two minutes. Like they have the time, right? Nobody gives them a breather because they probably just got off of a phone call. Like the, like as soon as like they picked up, they probably just got off the phone like less than 15 seconds ago. Give them a breather, get them calm. And then as you're moving on, then you can start asking for more and more and say like, all right, cool. So uh, now that you know a little bit more about me, I'm, tr I'm interested in you know, doing a little credit line increase. Um, here's the reason for that. Um, you know, I'm What's a, a good reason to tell them? What do you like to say? So you say like, look, I'm, you can see that I'm you know, usually spending, like say like my credit line's 500, right? Mm -hmm. And on average I spend 800 a month. So you can see from my, like, you know, from my spending habits, I'm constantly, paying like three or four times a month just so I can have access to more credit, right? right? So I spend like on average 800 and like, so I, I have a $500 credit limit. You see that I spent $380 and I had to pay it off before I can make any more purchases because you know, like I only have a $500 credit limit. Be reasonable with them and you, be reasonable with every call you are you, or you, you do. And I mean, as soon as you stop, establish that initial like, hey, how are you? Like, how's your Thanksgiving? How's your whatever? Then, I mean, they already are more comfortable with you. I'll just not one of those. Okay. So somebody was just asking, and it's just taps. That's all you got to do. It's not really holds. Um, so by the way, somebody was just asking, how do you get in the program? Um, I haven't even put the link up. I haven't put the button. We'll eventually have a button. But for those of you watching on YouTube, uh, YouTube, it's in the title. Twitter, it's in the title. Facebook, it's in the title. There's a clickable link to get in the test group. Instagram, it's a pinned comment. So if you want to get in the mentorship, it's a two-month program. In 60 days, we're going to teach you everything that you need to know. There's multiple te people teaching. He's one of the people teaching. I'm teaching a little bit, and I'm bringing in the most badass guys I know. I got uh, some buddies out of San Diego that have their own techniques that are just going to keep expanding what you know. I promise you this, almost the most important thing um, that you can learn in terms of being an entrepreneur and just for life skills, buying houses, buying cars, your fut financial future is predicated on you understanding. And trust me, they should have taught us this in school. They didn't. We can whine about it. We can cry about it. Or we can just go out and learn it on our own. You know what I'm saying? So you decide which person you are. And I remember, is it hard? Is it like you're on a, on a standby basis for first class? Nope. It's confirmed. You get confirmed. Like nice. you, yeah. No. First class, baby. And I'm going to tell you this, for those of you who have to go long flights, like LA to New York, I go. Sometimes I'll fly private, which is by far the best. I don't really use Jet Smarter, but I, I usually charter a jet. Um, yeah. But that's very expensive. I couldn't do that for most of my life. If I charter a jet, 
I spoke at Harvard and I had to fly from LA. I chartered a G4, which is insanely fast. We got there in like four hours and 15 minutes, but it costs like 40 Gs. So with this, he's getting it free and you don't need to fly private. If you can get first class on a lay, lay you know, the beds where they lay flat, it's a dream. You get there, you lay flat, you're getting there in, you know, four hours and four and a half hours, LA to New York. So, um, yeah. Okay. By the way, let me just do this. I'm going to put, I'm going to, I want you guys getting in this program. You've got, we'll do it at what, 27, 57 minutes, 56 now to get in the program. I'm going to put a link, uh, a button for those of you watching my website. It's either on the sides or below. If you're on YouTube, there's a clickable link in the title, Twitter, a clickable link. Facebook, a clickable link, and on Instagram, we pinned it to, comment, uh, to the comments. If you don't see it, you can go here. What is it? Credit. TyLopez.com slash credit. Now, if you're feeling overwhelmed, don't be. It's a eight-week program, okay? It's an eight-week program. You get in today, you access it on your phone, you access it on your laptop, you're gonna get a special login that's password protected for the credit mentorship. You go in there, you watch the, the classes, the video and audio, so you can watch them on your phone on the way to work. You know, you can watch them on the treadmill, listen to them while you're doing other stuff. You go through it, you spend 15, 20 minutes a day, you start implementing the stuff. Give us eight weeks, teach you what they should have taught you in four years of high school or junior high. It's a, it's a disaster tragedy that people graduate high school, college, the most basic, not basic, the most foundational elements are finance is freaking credit. Mark my words. I know wealthy people, wealthy people control their credit. I know when I was poor, I knew nothing about credit, nothing. I didn't even know if you said, what's the three bureaus? I'd be like, uh, I don't know, three bureaus? What, you, like, is that like drawers in my house? <laughs> and like, I didn't know. I didn't know any of this. So like I said, we, I did not travel much growing up. I lived in a mobile home. Uh, we weren't doing a mobile home travel. It wasn't a portable mobile home either. It was on some bricks. So I, the reason I'm building this credit mentorship which is going to teach you the four fa fundamentals. They're not fundamentals as in basic. These are very advanced for some of you. For some of you, you can use the beginning part. So you're going to be learning how to open up credit lines, get to $10,000 in credit. Okay? Be very responsible because it's a powerful tool. It's like a chainsaw. You don't want to chop your own head off with it. But you need a chainsaw sometimes to cut down the trees, the obstacles. The second thing that I want you guys to learn, without a doubt, he's going to be teaching, is improving your credit score. And the third thing that you're talking about is what we we're just doing, which is free travel, flights and hotels. And then lastly, we're about to get to the cash back thing. But um, I wanna read off the names of those of you getting in the test group. It's got a full 60 day money back guarantee. So if you go through the program, it ain't helpful for you. You knew it all, which is not gonna happen. That's why I'm giving the 100% money back guarantee. Because if you know this all, by the way, if you go through the program and you know everything and more, I got good news for you. I'll send you all your money back and I'll fly you out to LA to teach in the program. Fly you out to teach in this program. So please, some of you, I hope I gotta send your money back because you know more than me my business partner, my business partner raised $20 million. He got you beat. He $20 does. million in credit. Um, so, and I've done millions and millions. I don't do it quite as much as him, but I'm, he's actually managing. So you're getting access to the people that are managing my credit card stuff. So I want you to understand that this isn't some, and that's for real. Before we even built this program, he was working on my stuff. So if you want to learn from the people that, and I've been around finance for a long time, I can tell when people are BSing. He knows his stuff. I call it the stumping factor. I've asked him 100 questions, zero, does he not have an instant answer? That's how you know somebody. He's a smart, you smart. You went, to, you went to Stanford and now you go on the entrepreneurial way. So let me read some more people. Name, congratulate you. Andrew Booker, welcome to the Credit Mentor Program. Got his picture with Funnel Hacker. Oh, you're a... 
Russell Brunson guy. Tyler Pexton. Oh, no, that's for my Bitcoin program. Sorry. Rafael Carranza. You got in the one pay. So one thing, the way it works, let me flip this here. The way it works, is we're going to give you, so by the way, how much should we charge for this? Well, you know how much? <laughs> this definitely, every pro, here, I have a simple rule. Every program that I build should have as much value as one year of undergrad at college. Now, it might not be as broad. You might not learn about what year was the, you know, French-American War or something like that. You might, but you might not learn ge geometry, but I consider it credit just as valuable as a one year of college, which average in the U.S. is 10 grand. So we should charge 10 grand, but as you guys know, I do not want to be greedy. I want to hit people. There's no reason that only the rich should get richer. 10 men have more money than the bottom 3.5 billion, just so you know. So the world's very unequal right now. And I count my blessings because in a, in a way, I'm part of that because I live... Uh, at this point in my life, knock on wood, a life that I wouldn't have imagined was possible. But I want more people to have that and not just be for me. And that's the difference I'm trying to make. So I'm not going to charge 10 grand, okay? But it's definitely worth that. So we could go and we could charge. That's undergrad. And some colleges are more. Down the street from me, UCLA. USC is what, 25 grand for one year? Um, community college is one grand in LA for a quarter or whatever. Okay, so I don't even gonna charge that. The average person pays for Starbucks coffee over eight hundred dollars a year. That's Starbucks. I wanted to go lower than that, so we decided to go below five hundred dollars if you do a one-time payment. Okay, or we've broken it up. Is it four pay? Or three pay. three pay. We've broken it up uh, into under two hundred dollars. Okay, times three payments. So you'll pay a little bit more. So, so a lot of you are paying the one payment, but if you don't quite have the money, if you, it's not even, it's a little under two hundred. It's like one ninety-seven or something like that. Okay. So now there's a hundred percent money back guarantee. So if you're worried, you know. Oh, what if it doesn't work? I send you your money back. Trust me. I've sent people their money back. I've had now over 150,000 people, actually more. It's probably, I'll just say 150,000 people go through my paid online programs. That's more than most universities, okay? I mean, over a long time, universities do that. But it's in the last you know, year or two, I've had over 150,000 people go through. That's more than people go through UCLA. I don't think UCLA even, I think it's 40,000 people. Yeah, it's, so it's in two years, they've had 80,000. I've had more than that go through. So it's a reputable thing. We pay people if they want a refund, but we have one third the refund rate of average online course. Okay, I want you to understand that. So if you don't think learning the techniques of your, of credit are worth 200 bucks, times three or 500 bucks one-time payment. There's, if you pay the one-time payment, there's no tricky billing. There's not gonna magically, we're not gonna charge you. We don't wanna hurt your credit. What I want, honestly, and I told this, you remember, we want a ton of testimonials. I wanna raise your credit up. Even in the last years, I've raised my credit because even if you have money, you, always, you don't always focus on credit. So I focus on my credit and I shot it up to like 790, 800, but he's 20 and has basically the same credit as me. So, you know, this is life hacks that I didn't know that I'm passing on. And so I want to do that for, my goal is to do that for a million people. Get a million people in America credit. When your credit's messed up, trust me, it will ruin your life. It'll be a pain in the butt to buy a car. The only person who wins if you have bad credit is the banks, the credit card companies, the car dealerships that jack you through the roof, the, the payday loan people, all the stuff. When you got good credit and you understand how to repair bad credit and you understand how to, how to grow your credit lines and you understand how to get free travel and all this stuff that we're talking about, all of a sudden life becomes easier, man. People, life's hard for people. I've had life hard for me. If life's hard for you right now. I know this seems like too practical and simple and some people want big philosophies on how to improve their life and I believe in doing that too, but trust me. Credit is the simple foundational thing. It's like if somebody's cold 
And I'm like, dude, you might want to put a jacket on. They're like, no, 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 no. There has to be something more sophisticated. I need an electric blanket with this. I'm like, dude, put a jacket on. No, 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 no. I'm cold, but I need, no. Well, that's the same thing. Oh, dude, my money situation's all messed up. Yo, fix your credit. If you fix your credit and you buy real estate, you'll save 100 G's in interest over the time you own the house, just for changing your credit a little bit. Your car, you mean you wanna buy a car? They'll jet, they will charge you an arm and a leg if you got bad credit. Let's fix your credit. If you already got cr a good credit, let's boost your credit. If you only got $500 on credit line, let's get you to 10,000 and teach you how to manage it. Remember, little disclaimer, I'm not gonna come through there and make you a responsible person. So if you get this to $10,000 and you spend it and you don't pay it back, don't come crying to me, okay? I wanna teach you how to play for the long game so some of you get 100,000, some of you get a million, some of you get 10 million. It all depends on your situation. It's all you business owners watching, for the love of God, build business credit. Yes, definitely. Business credit extends, I'm working on some more advanced stuff, Business credit, we're not even going to teach in this program, but it's big, big deal stuff. They look at your business credit, okay? Like I said, Alex, you know my business partner in MentorBox, he had 20 million credit line, okay? And his business did 1 billion in revenue. 20 million of credit turned into, one was, of course, not 100% responsible, but 20 million of credit got him to 1B. That's the three comma club. So I'm going to be teaching, he's going to be teaching on that, we're going to teach you advanced stuff. But what Steven's gonna teach you is the foundational stuff that you must know. And if you skip out, you got 35 minutes. Why am I putting a time limit on it? Because look, this is a test group. We wanna be able to offer enough one-on-one. -on -one. By the way, I haven't even mentioned this. There'll be a private Facebook group that Steven will be active in, okay? I'll be there. I'm not as active, honestly, in a day-to-day, -day, but I pop in and check them. Steven will be there. We'll have multiple of my buddies teaching there. And so if you have a question that wasn't answered in the program, you pop in there, you know, and you'll start getting answers from the community. No one person knows everything. There's no gurus. This isn't a cult. This is a movement of teaching everything they should have taught us in school. You know that old saying, if you can't beat it, join it. Well, we can't beat the modern system. So instead of joining it, we, we join it and accelerate it to what it should have been. All the practical stuff being taught to you. All this, and it's credit thing. I'm telling you, your kids and grandkids are gonna laugh at the school system and be like, wait a sec, they didn't teach you about credit? No, 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 no. But they did teach me, you know, that there's a triangle and it has a hypotenuse. <laughs> they did teach me about circumferences of circles. And your grandkids and kids are gonna be like, did you ever use that? No, but it was very important. It was very important. Why? I have no idea. Did they make you memorize the capitals of states? And your grandkids and kids are going to go, but you can just Google what the capital of Tajikistan is. Why, Philip, you know what Sherlock Holmes, he's a fictional character, but you know what? One of the best thing I ever learned from one of those fictional books. Watson asked Sherlock Holmes, because he didn't know something like how far away the moon was. And Sherlock Holmes turned to Watson and he said, the mind's like an attic. It's like a basement. It gets full. Why would I fill it up with stuff I don't use? I can refer to a book when I need that. So guess what? The school system filled up your brain and your brain can only hold so much with stuff you'll never use. And then all the stuff that should have been in there, it left out. Parents, don't just teach your kids what the capital of Montana is. Don't just teach your kids about, you know, what year did the Mongol Empire rampage across Asia. It's not going to help them. They can read a book on it later if that interests them. Teach them how to buy a house. Teach them how to grow their credit line. Teach them how to get free hotel rooms so they can, you know the best way to learn about history? Travel the world for free. How many miles, how many countries, I mean, how many uh, flights have you done I, in one year for free? How many of them were free? For free? Probably like 160 out of the 100. 160 flights in the last year free. Get that for your kids. Get that for yourself. You don't need to freaking... Look, I, I like books, and I do like college classes, and I do like all that. I don't like it more than a life of freedom. I'll tell you that. Vangelico Zane, welcome to the group. Daniel Moore did the one pay, saved a little money. Those of you who do the one pay, 
You'll save a little money. Where are you at, Daniel? Ohio. Congratulations, Jason Rogan. Welcome to the group. Now, quick thing. You're getting in so new. Give us four days and this program will be launched. So you're getting in pre. We're going to raise the price, by the way. But you're getting in now. He's recording right now. We've already got some stuff recorded. Private Facebook group. So don't have a heart attack if today you don't get the login. You will get the login within four days. Okay? Depending on when you're watching this, it might already be up. I'm just giving myself a little patty. Just watch for the email. It'll tell you all the stuff about your login, so on and so forth. By the way, this is level one. So we will have some more advanced. Some of you are really advanced. Like I'm more advanced. So we'll have a level two and a level three. My team, when you fill out, when you go to the link or you click the link there, did we put a phone scheduler? There'll be a phone scheduler. If you didn't get the phone scheduler, we'll send it to you. My team will call you and personalize this program for you. So if you need some extra stuff, if you're a business owner and you need some more advanced stuff, we'll create, we've got levels. This is the level one foundational stuff, everything we talked about, which by the way, will be advanced. But a few of you need something even more advanced. We'll be talking about level two and level three later that we'll be offering to you, okay? But get in level one. Everybody, by the way, has to start in level one. I don't care how advanced you are. Look, I know a lot of stuff. I was a CFP. I manage a hunt. My company managed 100 million bucks for 6,000 people around the world. I know about money. I don't know everything, but the stuff he's teaching, I didn't know. So I doubt, even if you consider yourself advanced, you probably don't know this stuff. Let's get to this last thing. Then we're going to come back. Did our live just go out? Or? Yeah, we're going to reset Instagram every one hour. Okay. Resets. Okay, let's go here to number three. Um, or the, the number four was the final thing, which yeah, was yeah. Let's cash, talk about back. cash back. I'm going to let you do this. What do people need to know? By the way, have you ever seen, how much is this, 40 or 20? That's 20 grand. 20 grand. In, this is, by the way, he didn't want to teach this in the free thing, but we're going we're gonna to put this in the, yeah, we will. In the paid yeah, we'll mentorship. The paid. Yep. This is so secret, he didn't want to tell, because some of this stuff, by the way, we honestly don't want everybody to know because then it'll stop working, just to be real, totally honest with you. But for those of you who get in the program, you meet us halfway, we'll, we'll share this stuff with you. But I'm not, I guarantee you 50,000 people are watching this live on YouTube, Insta, Facebook, if you add them all up. We don't want 50,000 people going out and flooding the, uh, <laughs> we won't be able to get our credit cards. Yep. Okay. Or our, our, coup, our discount card, or our, yep. our, our yeah. Visa gift cards. Gift cards. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Let's talk about this. So with cashback, um, there you know, there's the simple credit cards, right? There's the ones that like 1.5% cashback. Those are the ones that people generally focus on. But what I realized is that when you look at um, the in the grand scheme of all credit cards, like the point credit cards can also get you uh, cashback as well. So for example, um, American Express, we'll just say like Amex, has something called MR points. That's called membership rewards points, and Generally, they cannot be liquidated into cash. They generally are, you can tra transfer them into travel miles, you can transfer into hotel points, but you can't convert them to cash directly. And so most people just stop at that. They think, oh, MR, like I don't even know what that is, like too intimidating. I'm just gonna go stick with the companies that give me 1.5% cash back. However, there's cards that earn up to 5X and 6X MR points. And then there's ways, um, one of them is called a Charles Schwab American Express Platinum card that lets you convert one MR point equals to 1.25 cents. So like some of these Amex cards gives you 150,000 MR points. So do 150,000 times 1.25 cents, that's like, it's like almost two grand right there um, in cash back. And that's something that most people like disregard. They see points, oh points, this must be for travel. The cool thing about cashback is that all these points can be somehow converted between one card to another program, converted around until it becomes cash, just cold hard cash sitting in your bank account. So that's one of the techniques for cashback. We're also going to talk about these gift cards, which we're going to call these the X factor because Steven was like, hi, I don't want to share this. I'll show them, but I'm not going to share this right now. Anyone else doing this? Doing this? I mean, this whole system and applying for 
to Amex primarily. Yeah, there's yeah. Uh, there's other people out there, but it's only a few thousand people that actually like take advantage of this technique right here. One yeah. of the one of the many techniques. So yeah. there's probably around I'd say probably like two thousand people in the world. Maybe not even two thousand. Probably like a thousand people in the world that know about how to convert MR points into cash. Like how do you convert just like a normal point based uh, like reward program mm -hmm. into cold hard cash sitting in your bank account, a U.S. dollar. So let me say this real quick. I want to take some questions real quick because I know there's a lot of questions I'm seeing them come in here. So let's see. What other cards do MR, people asked. I'm talking about this right here. What other cards do membership rewards points? So yep. all of the American Express Platinums do that. American Express Every Day, American Express Every Day uh, Plus. There's like the um, American Express Gold cards. Any of the American Express cards with like a little face in the front, um, all of those do MR. Like all of those are those are MR points. Um, the American Express Blue Business Plus card. Yeah. Um, I was talking with their lawyer. He's like he 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 brought that up. That's a really good card for business owners. You're okay. you're getting two X MR points. So if you do that, like most business cards are like, oh, 1.5% cash back, that's so great. This is getting two MR points, and then you do this method, two times 1.25, you're getting a much higher cash back rate than yeah. just 1.5. So question, I just saw someone on YouTube ask, will this work outside the USA? So I mean, I'm not gonna like talk about stuff I don't know, I, I really don't know. Yeah. Uh, I had a DM that said like, oh, like, Will this work in Canada? I like I 100% don't know. And like, Canada, but can somebody in Canada or another country? They got visa. Yep. Can is it that much different? You think the principles basically the pr are going to work? The principles are going to be the same, right? There's like you're going to earn some kind of cash back. You're going to earn some. I'm actually curious. Like I, I think I want to go to like Canada and just kind of figure out their system. I so mean, those of you getting in from around the world, you're going to be learning these techniques. Um, and not every single thing will apply, but I guarantee you a lot of this stuff applies. The overall concept will, yes. and like that theme and you'll I, be and, and what he's teaching you, how to get on the phone with them, the scripts, that'll work for sure. Trust me, it doesn't matter. And Visa's everywhere. Yep. Are, this is a monster company. Visa's a trillion dollars, you know, of money run, trillions running through them. So it, there's, there's Visa Euro, Europe, but when you understand the principles, and the cool thing if you're not in the US and you get in this, less people are doing it, so it's more likely to work. That's exactly you know? what so I when you get on, it. Yeah, when you get on, he's like, I wanna move to Canada to do this. All right, some more questions. Throw questions at us, before we gotta go. By the way, you guys got 24 minutes to get in. Is a job needed to be eligible? What if somebody's not employed? So that goes back to needing like an initial relationship, right? So if yes. you're a student, that counts as a job, right? Yes. So like credit card companies will give you it just because you're enrolled in school. Yeah. What right. about secured cards? Secured cards, those are actually, if you, okay, so say you don't have a parent or like a friend that will add you as an authorized user. Say you can't get a student card because you're not a student. Secured credit cards, which is the third ones to kind of get, yeah. is what you do is you give them like $400 and yep. they give you $400 It online. becomes credit, almost like a debit card. Yeah, it becomes a debit and card. And what's the best secured card you like? Um, my first, uh, I got the secured card just for the heck of it, was Capital One Platinum. So you can do a secured card, cap, Capital One Platinum. Yep. And Capital One has a lot, like they're probably one of the few that offer like a variety of uh, secured like credit cards. I think Bank of America does it. I don't like them as much. Um, but at Capital One, they're, the reason I say I like Capital One better is their mobile app is like very simple to use. Like you add in your bank account, you pay like everything. It's touch ID, everything's clean, everything's cut there. Yeah, okay. Somebody said, what soda is that? Very important question. It's water, but uh, it's LaCroix. Uh, what about Citibank cards? Citibank is good. Uh, so Citibank, uh, there's the American Airlines that's associated with Citi. If you're a business owner or if you just have a normal like Costco membership, Costco or C Citi just like went up the like roof because a they, Amex lost Costco from their portfolio and now Citi owns Costco. So the Costco card and the American Airlines, those are both great. And if you live in LA or Dallas, you can get, you can fly on a Boeing 787-900, which is like the Dreamliner, best like domestic like airplane you can fly. Um, and with those miles that you get from a city card, you can fly for free on that. They'll even give you a 747 your own price. No, I'm just joking. <laughs>
Some, how do you do that one? <laughs> that's a special <laughs> technique. It's called, Is that the level three? It's called you got to know how to fly a 747 Dreamliner and you have to steal it. Okay. <laughs> uh, how much income for good credit? The income to, you know, the income to credit ratio. Um, I don't, I don't see it as like income to credit unless if you're trying to like maximize your credit line. And even then I value the relationship more. And then I also value the sustenance of your credit report. So right. like, don't get hung over like, oh, my credit score is like 702 or something. Care more about like what your credit like looks like. Just ignore the score and just look at like the meat Dang. of your credit report. Say like, okay, cool. Like I've had on-time payments. I've had like six accounts. All of them have been on-time payments for the past two years. I care more about that than whatever your score tells you. Like, your, like what it is. By the way, congratulations. We just had someone join from the test group from Korea. I have not seen that before. I'm sure we've had customers. Stefan Tushemeyer from Ontario, Canada, Toronto. Congratulations. Okay, I see Alexander, your card was declined. Very ironic since we're talking about credit cards. Um, two things, depending on where you are, call your bank, tell them it's you doing it. Uh, secondly, you can, there's a phone number here on my, if you're on my website and you can call the number and my customer support can help you. We'll send you an automated email you can reply to. So as long as you get in the group, if something's an issue with your card, we can help you figure out PayPal or some other way to get in. Okay. Robert Kuzma, that was you. Your card was declined. By the way, you like Kyle Kuzma. You play, you, you got family playing for the Lakers, man. Okay. Christian Kirby. From Kansas, welcome to the group. Jethro Roth Kushel, welcome to the group. We've got a lot of people. Chata, wow, what a name. Chata, where is that from? C H A T A. Ka Chata Cartasiano. Um, okay, some more questions. Credit, how can you get it? Here's the goal I'm challenging you guys from where you are, add $10,000 of credit in the next two to 12 months to your credit lines. Use that responsibly, build up a ton of credit, uh, a ton of your credit score to go up, number one. Use it to get a lot of cash back. Use it to get fly the world for free. Use it then, of course, to do you know this, this whole thing that he was telling you, the more advanced stuff. For those of you who already have 10 grand and that's no problem, okay, you already got 10, 15, 20 grand, maybe you're a little bit older, goal is 100,000. Add 100 G's of credit, you can use it for, oh, by the way, I know a shitload of entrepreneurs follow me. All of you entrepreneurs, you better get on this or, man, I'm telling you, if you do not have good business credit and you don't have credit lines open, you want to be opening, like I'll try to open, like last month, I think I opened like 800,000 in credit lines, open, you know, and I'm a little more advanced than some of you. But you can open up, if you just open 10,000, for those of you who are already a little more advanced, if you open up 10,000 new credit lines per month and you do it for a year, you added 120,000. And here's the thing, when you look at your overall credit ratio, the more lines you have open versus what you're using, your credit utilization rate is lower, which they like. And then they yep. wanna give you more. That's the whole thing. You know, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer because once you get in a downward spiral, Nobody wants to give you credit. They start pulling your credit. I remember a time in my life when I didn't have much money, I didn't know what I was doing, and they would chop my credit cards in half like it was a two grand you know, credit card, and all of a sudden they were like, your credit limit's been lowered So because I didn't know what I was doing. So I want you, that's my challenge, the 10 grand or 100 grand challenge. If you already got 100 grand, you need to be adding a million. You need to be at, let's just quick recap for everybody. How much do you have open right now? At age 20? How much? How many credit cards? Credit line. I have 3.2 million. 3.2 million he can spend on credit cards. On how many cards? 220. 220. One year ago, how much did you have? Zero. He's 20 years old. He can't even go to Vegas and spend this damn stuff. You can have a heyday in Vegas when you got, that, <laughs> you got money. Like, you could be staying at, but you're staying at Ritz Carlton now. You jetted in on a private jet using Jet Smarter. It's, like, it's kind of like a private jet. It's like a shared private jet thingy. I've done it once. Um, so you're doing that or you're flying first class. Man, this thing is a game changer. I've launched this. Those of you getting in the test group, uh, you're gonna get access to the private Facebook group. You're gonna get access to about uh, 10 hours of Stephen teaching. 
with screenshot. He got his laptop open going, click this button, then this, go to this credit card first, followed by this. We'll have the scripts in there. Call this company, say these words, read the script to them so that they bump your credit up, all that stuff. Somebody said they have four cards, only used two. Some of you need to use your cards more because some you're going to show people how to use the cards. Of course. Because yeah. you don't just want to have cards and never use them because then sometimes they shut them down or it's not helping you. You're not getting any points. You're not traveling. You're not getting American Airlines. You're not getting United. You're not getting Delta. You're not getting Hilton. You're not getting credit card stuff back. What else have you gotten besides, you're talking about lounges, Ritz Carlton's. What other perks have you used the cards for? Um, so like I've gone through like global entry. I go through customs. I go through TSA. Um, I actually go, I, they gave me, because of my Delta status, they gave me free clear. Like, have you heard of clear me? Yeah, yeah. So basically, like, I don't have to have an idea. I just go there, like, scan my fingerprints. I'm just go through the lines. And then they, you can even cut the pre-check line. So then you just get full priority. Like, you just, I can go through. So TSA. you just walk in like a boss. You go, hey, everybody, get out of my way. <laughs> That's basically. My name's Steven. I'm clear. That sounds like a Scientology thing when you're clear. Doesn't that mean, like, you don't have any aliens in you or something like that? <laughs> I'm not up to date on my Scientology. Um, <laughs> does he have a Santorium black card? I do. Yeah, we'll, we'll, Don't try to test him. <laughs> you guys do not test him. Here, I'll cover up a few of the numbers. I got a black card. I got one of these too, but I didn't have one when I was 20. When I was 20, I had like an ATM debit card. That, 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 that. And by the way, a lot of you are only using debit cards. Yep. You don't earn anything on debit cards. Don't earn anything. You don't build, you don't build your credit up. You know what I'm saying? 20 with a black card. Some of you got to get with the game. What's his income though? You did this, What was your income when you started? Zero. I was, Zero. I was a broke college student. <laughs> broke college student. He was smart. He went to Stanford. So you're not going to be learning from a dummy. But your dad wouldn't sign the credit cards for you. Yeah. So there's not some story that your dad is Bill Gates. Well, I don't think adopted. That. You don't look exactly like <laughs> Bill Gates. But <laughs> your dad's not some billionaire that signed for you. Um, someone said, "Do you live off your cards?" No, you've got a startup. I do have a startup. So he has other businesses too. I convinced him to do this. He he's doing this for me. And I said, "Listen, I got you know 200 million people a year who watch my stuff. Let's help them too." Because I, I promise you, man, people, be honest. Everybody just leave a comment. Who here has over 750 credit? Say, actually, if you know and you're willing to say, leave a comment with what's your number. Let's get a little survey. The lowest you can have is what, 480 or 420 or something? 450? The lowest I've seen was like 460. 450. I won't say his name, but one of my friends had the lowest. He sent me a screenshot. He goes, do you know I have the lowest credit score humanly possible? This dude wouldn't be the most irresponsible friend I have. Okay, what do we got? 470. You almost beat him. Uh, we got 739. 780. No credit. You can't have no credit, really. I mean, you probably have. What do you usually start out at? If you're like. I think like between 580 to 620. Yeah, you'll start at like 556. Now, if you're two years old, you don't probably have much credit. Somebody said they have 900, which I know you're not. On planet Earth. <laughs> um, so, okay, somebody said my mom charged 20 grand on a card of mine. Going back to what he's teaching you, that should be disputable. It's disputable. If you're, if it's not a co, you know, a card that both of you had given each other authorization. Yeah. So we talked about websites. You can go. You can get the government to back you up, and also specific scripts will have on how to call. You can call yep. directly the credit card companies and yep. dispute. Yep. You can be like, I don't even like my mom. No, don't say that. Um, okay. 420 somebody has. I don't know that you could have 420. Maybe you're talking about smoking weed. <laughs> Nicaragua missile said the lowest 450. Hey, man, let's get your credit up. Get in the group. Let's go. If you don't have $200 to get in, go ask your parents for it. Go ask a friend. You know, part of building credit is uh, having the ability to talk to people and then pay them back. I'm stuck at 610. How do I get to 700? You got to go back. You might have come late. Those of you who came late missed all kinds of stuff. We talked about that. We talked about that here. CFPB. Some of you need to bookmark that website. 
Claudia Rochon has a 690. Jalen Brown has a 510. Mar Maricela Soria has an 829. Bactonenio Architola. Woo! That is a hard name to say. How'd you get through kindergarten? <laughs> I had a complicated name. Bactotenio A. Architola has a credit of 605. What credit monitoring system do you like? Do you like Credit I, Karma? You like I use Credit Karma, it gets you, it's free, it's a soft inquiry, it doesn't hurt your score. That's a common misconception. Checking your own credit that will not hurt your score. But creditkarma.com pulls your TransUnion, Equifax, and then Experian.com will actually give you your free credit report. So Experian will give you your Experian for free. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna jet out of here in a second. Um, somebody said it does go below 500. Yeah, it does go by Carmen. That's not what I said. I said it doesn't start below 500. You can get it all the way down. If that's your goal, you can feel free to get it down to as low as possible. Okay, I can do anything. I have, I can't do anything. I have a judgment on my credit. So some of you have judgments. Some of you will have liens. There's ways to work on those. I one time um, got, sometimes they're wrong. Yeah. I had the other day, I had a, uh, my credit card, my credit got dinged. All of a sudden, like my credit's like seven, over 750 to 800. All of a sudden it dropped like 80, one of them. And it was some, for some company was billing, sending bills to the wrong house I haven't lived in in three years. And it was for something I didn't even know. It was a low amount, like a hundred bucks. So I called them up and they removed it and it put my credit right back up. Don't, you can't just, you can fight. And they're not used to people fighting. And when you know how to fight, whether it's calling or letters, following the script you guys are about to get, you can fix it. You can even get the government involved in the U.S. And most countries have this, too, outside the U.S. Yep. How do you... Okay. All right. So there's a ton of more questions. How do you maintain that many cars at once with the fees? So with the fees, honestly, like out of my 220, I only have about 25 with fees that I actively manage. And the best thing to do is literally just set a calendar reminder a mm -hmm. year from when you get the card and set it for maybe like two weeks before. And when that time comes, go call them and ask for a retention offer. Say like, look, I've been a customer for you for yeah. a year. Retention, we're gonna teach you the retention offer so that they would wanna keep you and they cancel the, the fee. Yep. That people are asking that all over. That's a common question. There's a, there's a saying that I like. If you're playing poker and after 30 minutes you don't know who the sucker in the room is, you're the sucker. And right now the financial system usually makes you the sucker. If you do it right, you won't be the sucker. Uh, let's see. Okay. I think we're going to wrap it up now. So just in summary, you're going to get an eight-week program. We're putting the link. If you don't, you should see the button here. You see the, if you're on my website, click the button. If you're on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, go to the URL. There's nine more minutes. I'm gonna leave it up because we talked a little bit longer. I'll leave it up for another 29 more minutes. So you got 29 more minutes just because we went a little, little bit longer. Let's read off the names of the people getting in the group right now. Rob Rivera did the one payment option. Welcome to the group, my friend. Oh, I know you. It's Rob. What's up, man? It's my friend. Why does it say you're in Baja, California? You live here. Did you move to Mexico? He's been to my house here. Chad Williams. Congratulations, Pennsylvania. Alex Mecklin. By the way, the price, under 500 bucks if you do a one payment, you'll never be charged again. Or you can do a three pay plan for under 200 bucks. That's as low as we could go. Okay, if we start going lower than that, it, it's not worth, I mean, it's not feasible. And I'm not, I feel like nowadays, I'm like, why do colleges get to charge 10,000 to teach you nothing? Why do high school, you know how much high school costs you? Taxpayers, your parents paying taxes? Average person in New York State, 220,000 was spent on your education if you went to public school from first grade to high school. So let's say, and the high school's a little more expensive, so let's just say high school's at least 10 Gs. Most people's high school is pain. <laughs> they're bullied, they're bored, 
or they're they're you know traumatized. All three. All three. Bullied, bored, and traumatized. I played basketball, so I kind of liked high school. But if it wasn't for sports, boy, uh, Angela, Angela Valle, California, welcome to the group. Andre Illin in Washington, welcome to the group. Nicholas Bomba, welcome to the group. Ken Sherry did the one payment, 497. James King did the three pay option at 197. <laughs> Um, funny comment. Uh, Nicholas, oh, uh, Nico, man, people from Greece have complicated names. Anagnostopoulos, can you read that? What's that? Well, holy shit. <laughs> Anagnostopopoulos. That's a dinosaur. Anagnostopopoulos. That's a pretty cool name. Jordan Morgan. Johnny Yang. All right. From Taiwan. By the I'm, way, I'm, some, I'm Taiwanese. Are you Taiwanese? I am Taiwanese. And my name's Thai. So we're all, I'm not from Taiwan. <laughs> I'm not Asian, but. Okay. Um, thank you, my man. Thank you, Thai. He's going to, might record a little bit more. And uh, somebody said, wow, I want a Greek gyro right now after <laughs> listening to that name. Okay. Will the replay be on your Facebook? Let's see. Advanced levels, don't worry about the advanced levels right now. It's not for most of you. It's for those of you who have special cases, businesses, special situations. Everything we talked about now, you're getting for that price. So we're not going to try to hold stuff back. You get in the thing, you got everything you need. You got two months, eight weeks. It doesn't work for you. Anytime during the eight weeks, we'll send you your money back. If you think you know more, I'll refund you and bring you here if you actually know more. I'm looking for more teachers that are badasses, but don't just say you're badass. And then I've had people be like, ah, I know so much. The, true story. The other day, a guy wrote me kind of an obnoxious message. He's like, I should be teaching in your, in your cryptocurrency Bitcoin pro, you know, program. And I'm like, why? And he's like, cause I've made, I forget what he said, $500,000 in cryptocurrency. And I was like, well, I mean, I was like, that's pretty good. And he's like, who do you have teaching now? And I'm like, well, today I had Brock Pierce, who probably made 900 million. And he's like, oh, okay, maybe I'm not so good. So some of you, most of you are humble. A few of you are too cocky. For those of you too cocky, if you can back it up, I can live with the cockiness. If you can't, you know, I grew up playing basketball in the projects. And um, if you talk like you can play basketball and you can't, <laughs> it's a bad day. It's a bad day on the court. So if you're badass, come teach. If you know, if you got 220, and I, as I tell people, people lie, but numbers don't. If you got 3.2 million, if you got 220 cards, if you got 20 million in, in points and you're 20 years old, then you come teach. Um, so Jalen Brown said, some people need to sit down and be humble. Good old Kendrick. Did you guys see the Laker game yesterday? Oh, guess who I interviewed yesterday? LeVar Ball. I got it coming out on my podcast and my YouTube. And it was funny. I sat next to Adam Levine, if you guys like Maroon 5. And, boy, he loves to talk about basketball. We talked about basketball the whole game. He was very mad at the refs. So I got a funny picture with him. <laughs> um Where's the winners of the hundred dollars? Did I promise to get? I don't even say I didn't say I was gonna do a giveaway. I don't think I heard anything. Oh, you mean the giveaway on my Twitter? I haven't done it yet. I haven't picked yet. I got I got so many. I'll pick it. We'll pick the winners. So thanks so much, you guys. I forget how many minutes. There should be a little timer or whatever here, but you got about twenty minutes left. And uh, welcome to the group, all of you who got in. You'll see a phone scheduler. You can talk to my team on specifics that you might need. We'll be sending you the private Facebook group link invitation. We'll give you instructions how to get in the group, get in there, and then make sure you keep your login safe. You can't share. If you share with anybody, it'll, our, my system will automatically lock you and everybody you shared with out permanently. So don't cheat the system because technology can catch you. Um, so yeah, will content be available after eight weeks? It's an eight-week program. You know, we, 
we want you to finish it in eight weeks. We can extend it a little bit, but I don't like to just give people programs and then they never do it. So, all right, man. My man, thank you. My boy. Talk to you guys soon. And uh, yeah, we're out.